Hello everyone and welcome to the latest uh, GTO Base update review. This is version 1.13 and we have added uh, aliases here. So as of now you can uh, create an alias uh, both for hero and uh, for any opponent. So we can check out uh, EV loss of a certain opponent, uh, we can check uh, all the hands uh, that we've played uh, together and so on. And um, how do we actually uh, do it? Well, we can either click here on this little button Manage Aliases here uh, under the Villain or we can go to uh, your settings uh, right here and then Aliases and we can add uh, Alias here both for Hero and uh, Villain. If we go for Hero, uh, we can uh, first of all choose a color for this Alias, uh, could be whatever, uh, all the colors available, blue, green, uh, whichever you like. Well, let's, uh, let's go for green, just for example, and uh, we have to name it, uh, this alias, so let's, let's make it simple, just me. Okay, when we're done, uh, we click here, save alias, uh, and then after we save it, if you want to change uh, the color again, we click here, edit alias, uh, and uh, we can choose uh, the color uh, that we want. And here uh, on the left we see this little H in the circle, which uh, is basically means that uh, this is an alias uh, for a hero. If we add an alias for a villain, then we see this little V in a circle. And again, uh, we choose a color, we uh, pick a name, uh, well, let's make it uh, regulars of uh, a, cer a certain class, like first class, uh, second class, whatever. And then when you choose an alias here, uh, let's go with the hero alias, uh, which we called me. Uh, then we can add uh, players uh, to this alias. Here on the right we see all the names of all the players that were marked uh, as a hero in all the hands that we have actually uploaded uh, in GTO base. Uh, then we just uh, pick uh, all the names uh, that we are interested in. And when we choose players uh, for a villain uh, uh, alias, uh, we see only uh, players that are actually our opponents, that are not marked as hero. So basically all the players uh, that are not uh, marked as hero in the uploaded hands. Okay, next uh, if we choose uh, players uh, for a hero alias, uh, for example, uh, let's, uh, let's pick, uh, I don't know, four. Let's pick this one and this one and this one. And then when we're done picking uh, players, we just uh, click here at uh, selected. And they all uh, move to this little uh, list um, right here. Same goes for villains, we choose the players uh, that we want uh, to add a, uh, to a certain alias. And yeah, we have uh, two columns here, first uh, count, uh, number of hands, uh, second a hero loss. This is how much uh, hero have lost uh, against this uh, player. So yeah, we can uh, sort uh, these uh, players about those numbers and uh, for example add uh, players that we've played uh, the most uh, against or players that we have lost uh, the most against. And also if you want to see the hands against certain player, we just click on this little I uh, next to the player's uh, nickname and we are moved here where our villain is already selected here in the filter and we see all the hands against him. And by the way, uh, right here uh, on the very left, in the very left uh, column, uh, we see the uh, color, which represents uh, the alias. So we can see uh, to which alias uh, this hand uh, relates. If you see green, that means that uh, a player uh, from alias me is, uh, is uh, in this hand. And then if I add uh, uh, those uh, players as villains, uh, add selected to this villain alias, and then click on an eye uh, next to one of those players. Then we will see two colors uh, because uh, two aliases um, are actually related uh, to those hands. And there you go. Which uh, basically means that uh, there are players in this hand, uh, in those hands, uh, from two aliases, uh, me and uh, Rex uh, first class. Okay, let's get back to alias settings. Uh, so we have added uh, those three players, uh, we see them now in this uh, list in the middle. If you want to remove a certain player, we just click uh, here and then, uh, or just, just click here, without even selecting the checkbox. Okay, and after we managed uh, our aliases, uh, we can go back uh, to hands. And if you want to choose a certain alias uh, in a filter, we just go here, or for example, villain. And if you click here before entering any, any nickname, we see all the villain aliases. Uh, well, uh, here it's um, only one. 
And if you go for a hero filter, uh, we of course uh, will see all the uh, hero aliases. Only one here, which we've created a couple of minutes ago. And if you want to change anything in those aliases, so you just go to uh, aliases settings uh, or you click here, manage uh, aliases uh, here in the bottom left and alias uh, settings page will be opened uh, in a new tab. Here you can uh, change the name or the color of the alias uh, or you can change uh, the players that are a part uh, of this group. And that would be it. Uh, thank you and uh, good luck at the tables.